Welcome back to the MDV channel, live from my wardrobe. Today, we're gonna do something very special. If you ever wondered whether the best-selling beard machine on Amazon is good for a flawless beard style, well, you're in for a good treat today because we're gonna test it out. We're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna shop from the click and buy to the faded result. We're gonna see how good is the first best-selling product on Amazon. What product? This is the best-selling product. Let's, okay, let's put this one to the chart. If this one is actually good. Like what I can see here, this is pretty big. The spots here, the spaces are really big. So it's probably not the best product, but I mean, we said it, so we're gonna do it. Right guys, this is unbelievable. I didn't even get to the office. I already received the messages from the guys that the machines arrived. Look, I still have the same shirt of yesterday evening because I wanted to film with it. That is crazy. Share with someone that is thinking about the next beard move. Let's go. All right. I was expecting this to be very soon and I'm very happy because I don't like to stay with a beard like this. But this was very fast. I mean, I did the video yesterday evening. That was the idea. And this morning, uh, I already have the machines with me. So why do I have two? Because I bought the best seller, which is this one, the 3000 series. And then I bought the 5000 series. This one shows it's for the beard and this one is for the hair. What we're trying to do here is the faded beard style done by myself. So we've been to a hairstylist and we asked them to make a beard style, which was kind of good. Was, well, the fade effect was very nice. We're gonna see the difference between the one I do myself and then next week I booked the appointment with one of the best barbers here, uh, which is dedicated only to beard. So we're gonna see the difference between a professional barber, a hairstylist and a haircut that you can do by yourself at home. It's good to go. Oh, so it has the measurements. Oh, okay. Not my favorite. It looks too wide. That, oh, let's see. Let's test it out. So we start with the most caring part, which is this one. Because once you've done this, you cannot go back. To two. All right, we are already here at two. So I suggest you guys, if you wanna have a more control on what you do, just start from zero here and then get to three and then you see. Well, we got to four now. Let's imagine we have lines here. One line, two line, four line. And then we go to six or five. Let's try six first. We leave this last line here for a little more. Let's see. Look, it gets pretty messy pretty fast. I don't know if you can see. And, uh, wow, that's a lot of hair to get stuck. I don't know, I need to understand if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe it's better to clean. It's, it's bad for the cutting. All right, maybe the washer wasn't the best choice. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, so what are we gonna do from now? We're gonna go to seven. Now we're gonna go to nine. Go all the way under it. Let's see, let's see. 
if this kind of works. And it kind of does because you can see there's a defined difference of color between the cheeks and the front part. But it's very important that we keep this one at least at seven, especially if you want a big jawline effect. And God, I have it already, but it's still definitely always a nice effect to have this kind of thickness of the beard here because this kind of little like puffiness of the beard gives the little bit more of a, you know, the fine jawline. So, but you can tell that there's this darker part and you don't see bad spots. So that's definitely a good point for the machine. And I think it's a good point for the measurements that we decided to go for. Right, in the meantime, I even threw it on the floor. So thanks should to give us an advice if it's worth it or not. As usual, my tip here, go like that, put the thumb on the top of the mouth, like this. Let this part go up, and you're gonna have a natural line here. If you don't, because you maybe have a little bit of fat or whatever, just go with the wrinkle or just with the finger align like this, more or less. All right, as I said, these blades are too big. And I can see it straight away that I can't get a defined line. So I'm pushing so much to get it defined because it gets messed up somewhere that it's going all the way up. And this is because if you see here, there's no definition because this space between the blades is too wide. It gets some hair higher, some hair lower. If it's thinner, it cuts super sharply on the same line. I don't know if that makes sense. I would give a eight and a half for the definition here, it's kind of good. And I probably would give a six and a half for the definition line. By my go-to when I need to see if the blade is good enough, it's the mustache, as you guys know. So we're gonna see that in a second. Guys, we're back in my wardrobe for two seconds because I wanted to talk to you about Hair Bello, which is the products that I use when it comes to hairstyle. Today I have the High Jets with me, which is one that you use for slick back hairstyle. The one I have right now, which is Hyperclay, which is a matte finish for a kind of defined look where you can still move. And then I always use, when I need to go out, the Thunder Hairspray, which is signed by me. So a lot of good products coming out. I'm testing a bunch for them right now. So stay tuned. Use the link in the bio and the code to get a discount. Peace. So almost done. Let's see if we can get the mustache to look cleaner. We go on top here just to make the, the cleaner line. Same on the other side, and then we clean all around. Mm, it doesn't cut that much, eh? Mm. You see, I cut out the little tails, I call them, of the mustache. I don't know, what do you guys think? You know, should I add this part attached? Because 
for me is not very touch so I always had this kind of style which was very iconic for me and uh, but this kind of like a little shade that I had before wasn't bad I just cut it off what do you guys think do you keep it do you cut it off do you think it's better one way or the other what do you guys think and yeah this is more or less it let's just refine it and give the last touch and I'll show you the final results and you tell me what you guys think All right, guys. So yeah, I think this was it. Uh, the refining machine was dying. So I just refined this part around the, around, the, around the mustache and this little part. But I think overall, it takes a little bit of time. But overall, for a homemade faded beer cell, we went from one centimeter, as we said here, 0.8 ear, Eight, uh, seven, eight, six, four, and, uh, and zero. So I think it's kind of a good result. What do you guys think? What do you suggest doing better? That's my go-to when I wanna do the faded. I would have gone a little bit shorter with the massage, but I think it's kind of okay like this as well. So thank you so much for watching guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you wanna see the previous uh, video, the premium the if you want to see the previous video that we did uh, faded beer style please go check it out and if you want to share with someone that thinks need a little bit of help with this beer style or has something to say about it please let me know in the comments and share with them and i'll see you the next one ciao i don't know would you buy it would you think do you think it's something that you would put in your bag uh do you guys think it's worth it for me, it's a, it's a seven overall, if I have to give it a vote. So please, let me know if you guys would buy it and which one would you suggest? Which one do you want me to try? And which one do you think is better? Shall we go with the cheapest one that we find on the internet to see if it's good? Or shall we go with the most expensive? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.